So my name's Ben Zemek, I'm 22 years old. I've got the Stabycraft 1410 Explorer and I just fucking send it. So um, the whole plan before I even bought this boat was to get a barrel out of it. Like I wanted to chase massive plagues. So I wanted to get like a barrel out of it, I wanted to get tuna, I wanted to get mako sharks, I'm going to do marlin soon in it. They were all the goals um, that I talked to Stabycraft about before I even bought the boat. Um, so I got obviously in touch with MY Marine, boarded the boat, got all the gear before I even got the boat. That way when the boat was here, the barrels were already on. So I literally picked up the boat, shot down to Portland the next day, trawled all day and hooked a barrel that day and landed it. 107 kilos bled. Um, after two and a half hour fight. Yeah, this is the one. Shimano Tiagra Ultra. This is a 24 kilo straight butt, matched with the Tiagra 50 wide, 37 kilo line. Um, this is the one. This is a 1410 uh, Explorer, Stabycraft, uh, with a 40 horsepower Yamaha, four stroke. I had a 3.8 meter tinny before this. Uh, same thing, tiller steer Yamaha on the back. And um, I just used to love that thing. I used to take that from one side of the bay to the other side of the bay. Um, you just catch, you know, seven, eight kilo snapper out of it. People used to think I was insane. So I thought, you know, what's something just a little bit bigger, a little bit safer, um, somewhere I can run out in the ocean and, and do that kind of stuff. Wanted to keep it small, wanted to keep it compact, cheap, you know, obviously not having a lot of money. Um, something easy to run, easy to maintain. Man, this just ticked all the boxes and, you know, stability and safeness wise, I don't think you can get a better four metre tinny out there. So that's why I chose this one and it hasn't disappointed me yet. So it doesn't have the casting deck in it, so it's all, it's all pretty flat um, and obviously it's, the freeboard's pretty high, um, so you can tuck yourself right in and, you know, it's all got to do with safety wise. You don't want to be standing up on a casting deck out in the ocean, um, you know, it's just silly. I got the extra rod holders fitted. Um, just to fit all the big boy Tiagras, obviously plastic rod holders probably wouldn't cut it. They'd be flying out left, right and centre. Um, other than that, not too much. It's pretty much how it comes. Um, bigger motor, just put the Sounder, Garmin Sounder, seven inch, does the job. Uh, I got the GT51 transducer, which I've upgraded, um, which, you know, does the job on the barrels in hundred metres of water. Um, put a bigger fuel tank in the rear, just because I do long range trips out chasing tuna and whatnot. Um, so I need that extra fuel capacity. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much, pretty much standard. Economy wise, with that 45 litre fuel tank, I can launch out of Portland boat ramp. I can travel 25 k's out to where I want to trawl all day from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. Um, and punch it all the way back in and, and that's all on one tank of fuel. So 40, 45 litres. Yeah, so we had it out this morning, uh, tide and that probably wasn't ideal for what we wanted to do. So we had to launch here on a low tide uh, in the morning, which is always a bit tough because it gets pretty shallow here and you run into bottom quite often if you sort of don't know where you're tracking. And then we'll go out and try and catch a gummy or two. And uh, yeah, we got lucky, we got two nice ones. So yeah, we sent one back, kept one for a feed. Um, it's always good. Serious to catching gummies. <laughs> um, Probably just fresh baits, yeah. Just make sure you sort of know the ground and area pretty well where you're fishing, but fresh baits always does it. Um, yeah, circle hooks and fresh bait. So we're running Re Reedy's rigs this year, just a Paternoster rig. Um, he's been kind enough to, uh, to sponsor us and send us a bunch of rigs. Um, but yeah, any running rig, Paternoster rig will, will sort of do the job. Just fish your tides, fresh baits, and that's pretty much it. So we've got the 8,000 Saragossa on the grappler rod. We've got Stratic on a 5,000 grappler rod. Um, basically, use these for gummies, kings, casting, poppers, whatever, live baiting. We've got 40 pound line on this, um, and that can hold about 400 meters of braid. So plenty, plenty of braid there to stop any fish you come across really. There's a lot of reels on the market, but my personal opinion is the Gosa is the best value for money reel on the market. You can beat them, you don't have to service them that often and yeah, just put them through hell. Like mine gets sprayed with salt water, but they just last. They're, they're great reels, super smooth, good for casting, like I said, good for live baiting, just whatever you want to do with them, they're really good reels. 
there's not too many people doing what I'm doing out there. It's something different, which is what I sort of like about it. And I just fucking send it.